Hello everyone, good morning. My name is Joyce McTeer and I am the owner and operator of La Georgia Creation Designs. I'm coming to you ladies and gentlemen today with another uh, hand pop-up handmade uh, African print earring. This uh, African print is from the one and only Dr. Veronica Shyam, and I will definitely leave all her information down in the description box so that you all can go out and check her out uh, and order you some, some of this fabric. This pair of earrings is going to be made from some scraps um, from a daishiki, okay? So this is the material pretty much that I am going to be using right here. And you're going to need some type of, well, you want to need a CD disc. This CD disc is like four and a half and a little bit over four and a half inches. Okay, so you're going to need something to trace. And this is what I'm using. You're also going to need another little object. This is one and a half by one and a half inches. This is just a medicine top that I'm using because um, I cannot find anything that's this actual size, okay? So you're gonna need something like this or something that's the size of this, one and a half by one and a half, okay? You're gonna need four coral shells to make your pair of earrings. You're going to need some 12 gauge aluminum wire. You're gonna need a pen. You're going to need a needle and thread. You're gonna need some scissors. You're gonna need a hot glue gun. You're gonna need some E6000. You're also going to need a roller. You're gonna need some round nose pliers and some wire cutters. And you're gonna need six jump rings, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and get started. So basically what I did, ladies and gentlemen, was I cut out two pieces of my daishiki fabric, African print fabric. I cut out a piece for the back and a piece for the front using this CD disc right here. The next thing I did, and I forgot to mention it, is you're going to need some fusible web. And y'all know what the fusible web look like. It looks like this. You're only gonna need one piece of fusible web, okay? And pretty much, y'all already know what I'm, what I'm gonna do, you're gonna take this piece of fusible web, you're gonna place it on the inside, and you're gonna iron these two pieces together. So I'm gonna go on this and I will be right back. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm back. So pretty much when you get your piece back, when you finish ironing it, this is pretty much what you're gonna have. It's gonna be a little stiff and that's pretty much, that's what you want, okay? Now the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna take our piece that's a one and a half by one and a half and you wanna to try to place it in the center. So pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm gonna fold this over just like this. so I can have some type of point. And then I'm gonna place this right in the middle, just like this. You wanna to try to at least get it in the center of all the way around your circle, okay? So you want to, you just wanna to try to make sure that it's in the center. You're hoping that it's in the, in the center. And you're gonna trace it, just like this. I gotta give me some markers, y'all. I need some markers. You want to trace it. Hopefully you can see what you're doing. Okay, hopefully you can see your lines. And pretty much what I'm going to do after you trace it, you fold it back over. You're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut a small hole in it. Just like that. Okay, then you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut that hole out. Okay, so I'm going to start this. And I am going, I'm going to cut that hole out and I'm going to be right back. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so as you can see, I have cut out my hole. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start sewing this together, okay? So you want to just take your piece 
and you want to start sewing it together. Now this is going to be a little hard because because of the size of the needle that I'm using. I'm using a large needle. Okay. So basically, this is going to take me some time. But I'm hoping you all get what it is that I'm showing you. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew this all the way around. And I'm going to come back with the next step. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So as you can see, I have sewn all the way around. I hope you all can see that. It's so many colors, it's hard for the black to show up. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to start pulling my... Pulling my piece together by drawing it in. Just like this. And you just keep pulling it until you get that real, until you get like a really, really small circle. As you can see, and you just keep on drawing it. Until it tells it, tell it, you want to, you want to keep pulling on it and, until it's completely closed, if at all possible. Okay. So this is pretty much what your piece is looking like. And basically, I'm gonna start pulling. Like this. So I can get it to close completely up. Okay, got it now. Now that's complete. It's, it's completely closed, but not quite, okay? So this is pretty much what your piece is going to look like. So basically, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to start sewing it a little bit more to try to close the hole completely. I guess y'all always say, Joyce, you make everything you make always have to be so difficult. <laughs> it's not that, y'all. It's the simple fact that when you do a technique and you're making and creating something different, you're doing it in a in a manner where pretty much you you hope that no one else is doing it the way you're doing it. So you always wanted to you always want to come up with ideas that uh, that's just different. You have your own little spin and your own little touch on it. So pretty much this is what we have right here. Okay, that's the back. This is the front. And what I'm going to go and do now is I'm going to go and on this down because I like these pleats. Okay, so I'm going to go and on that down and then I'm going to be right back. Okay, y'all, so before I go to on it, you wanna draw it tight as much as you can. You wanna snip off the extra piece and then you wanna tie a couple of knots in it. So you wanna tie a couple knots just like that and then you want to cut off this extra and now we can go and on it and I will be right back okay ladies and gentlemen so when you get it back this is how it's going to look I hope you can see where I've on it where my pleats are and this is the back okay and basically what are you going to do next is you're going to just go around and trim off the pieces that look like they're overlapping because you do want it to be even so you just want to go around and trim it 
trim off some of that from around it. Okay. And pretty much this is it. Let me go back here. Trim that off. Trim that off. Now. And this is what you're going to have. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut a piece of our aluminum wire and I believe I cut 17 inches but we're not going to be using 17 inches so that's what you're going to be using your ruler for so your 12 inch your 12 gauge wire you're going to need to be it doesn't have to be 17 inches you can cut it 10 you can cut it 12 I just like to make sure that I have more than enough wire okay so pretty much what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my round nose pliers I'm going to come up and I'm going to make a loop and if you have some uh, nylon pliers, you can use nylon pliers to make your spirals. And I'm just going to start making some spirals. Okay. I'm going to use my fingers. I always use my fingers. And I'm just going to start rolling this up just like this. And you just roll it down to pretty roll it to the to the desired shape that you would like and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch it like this and I'm going to cut it about let's see that's going to be in the middle so I'm going to cut it about right here okay so you can measure that that way you'll know um, how far down you need to go so you need to come down about almost three inches to cut it okay so we're going to snip it right there with our wire cutters and i'm going to take my hot glue gun and i'm going to glue this on the face okay so i'm going to take and put a smidge of glue right here in the center Just like that. I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to turn this the opposite way. I'm going to turn it this way. I'm going to place it over just like this and press it down in place. I'm going to clean that glue up just like that. Press that down and let that go ahead and do what it needs to do. And then I'm going to uh, I'm going to go ahead and bend this a little bit more. And I'm going to snip off a little bit more off the end of this. So I'm going to snip off. Let me see, maybe about, let's see, half of an inch. Yeah, about a half of an inch. I'm going to snip off about a half of an inch, about right here. Just like that and I'm going to make a loop down the bottom so I'm gonna take my round nose pliers and I'm going to make a loop just like that I'm going to pinch this up a little bit more okay just like that and I'm going to take one of my coral shells I'm going to take the large coral shell and I'm going to hang that down the bottom. So I'm going to take my one of my jump rings, open it up, and put it through. You know what? This one, this one is too big. So I got to get another coral shell. Give me one minute, y'all. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. All right, y'all. The back part of it was too big for me to put my jump ring through. So I had to get another one. So with that being said, I'm gonna take and I'm gonna put this on, slide that up just like that. And hang it down the bottom where this loop is. Okay, I'm gonna close it up. Just 
just like that. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a hole up at the top. And I'm just going to eyeball it and put a hole right here. And I'm going to take a jump ring and put a jump ring through that. Open up my jump ring. And I'm going to put a hole right here at the top. Push that through. And I see my hole. And then I'm going to take and you got to wiggle and play with it. There you go. It just popped in. And then I'm going to close this one up. And close this up. And then I'm going to take and I'm going to put another jump ring over that one. Because when you when you uh when you put your fish hook in, you want your fish hook to be facing to be going the right way so that your earrings can hang the way that they are supposed to hang. So I'm gonna put this one on. Okay. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna take and put some E6000 on this one and put it right there, okay? So I'm gonna put some E6000, generous amount. I'm gonna place it right in the center, just like that. And let's see, last but not least, I'm gonna add on my fish hook. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so here is our end result of our Dai Shiki African print earrings. Okay, you, you are going to have to have some type of Dai Shiki fabric in order to create this type of earring uh, or this type of look, I should say. Okay, uh, just like I said, don't forget that I'm going to leave Dr. Veronica Shyam's information down inside the description box so that uh, you all can go and call her. She also has an email where she can be reached uh, for you all to get some of this beautiful, she has some awesome, awesome fabric, y'all, like everybody, every time they see me do an African print everything, they always ask me, where did I get my fabric from? I get some of my fabrics I get from a local store and but um, these um, African prints that I have been using have been gifted to me through Dr. Veronica Shyam. So I'm making earrings and all that good stuff with the items that she has gifted me with. Okay. I also want to say that uh, for those of you who are new to my channel, please subscribe. Hit that bell that is on the side. Please make sure that you hit the all button because in order for you to see every video that I upload, uh, you're gonna have to have that on, okay? It needs to be on in order for you to receive the notification. Uh, secondly, uh, for those of you who watch this video and, and you like this video, please hit the like button, share uh, if at all possible. And I wanna thank you all for watching. I got a couple more videos that's gonna be coming up, y'all. I'm in this, I'm in this mood. I, I just figured something out as far as YouTube. So I'm gonna get off of here. Y'all have a wonderful and awesome day. Please, y'all, make uh make these items. Uh follow me on uh, Instagram. 
if you follow me on Instagram and you do decide to make these earrings, please tag, some, tag me in them. Tag me in it. And my Instagram information is LaJoytra Creations. That is the name of my company. I want to thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful and awesome day, everyone. And if anyone is interested in purchasing these earrings, let me know. Uh, they are for sale. Okay, have a wonderful and awesome day, everyone. Peace and blessings. See ya.